I'm beyond ready to go into detail into the haul from this past Sunday's Kanapalooza Day 3. Uh, both Samantha and myself picked up some nice stuff. I do have a little bit more footage, however, and I think I can compile that in this video. And the haul will be at the end. So stay tuned, guys. <laughs> Or if you want one that's already just simply pre-built, real hardwood, not fragile at all. My brother and I hand carved them ourselves with a cup of clay. What's these keys? Uh, these are just little necklace charms, part of these. We just wanted to keep them separated with it. Um, with the necklace purchase charm. of a charm. Ladies and gentlemen, oh. just want to announce that Hufflepuff gets 60 points. And Ravenclaw gets 70 points. Thank you. With the purchase of two or more charms or keys, which are also charms, you do get a free necklace with it. Uh, otherwise, the necklace is a dollar. Where are you good um, on necklaces? How long are the necklaces? How long are the necklaces? She needs like an 18. Too little. Well, we can just sell you the charms without them and we'll give you a dollar off. Okay. Since you can't have one of the necklaces and you can pick as many charms as you want. All right. Well, thank you. Let me get y'all some uh, lanyards like men. Come this way. Good time for more lanyards. <laughs> you and Allie pick yourself lanyards for your badges. I got it. Two more lanyards, please. This is the Artist Alley of Conapalooza, Medivue, Kingsport, Tennessee. Whoa. Look at that art, dude. Look at that shit. <laughs> that is friggin' Golly. Gods and monsters. You know, good job. What am I looking at? It just looks so awesome. Original, and he invented this these characters himself. Uh, well, that's Godzilla. Okay. Uh, Mecha. Mecha. Mecha Godzilla. Uh huh. Um, these ones are just his own creation. Well, here he is. He hey, how's it going, you created man? these things yourself? Uh, yeah, yeah. We're a concept design studio, so uh, we've done work for everybody: Walmart, Target, Mattel, Marvel, a little bit of everybody for years designing kids' toys and furniture. These really just look so um. Well, like, thank you. These are just concepts. It looks like studio grade, like. Well, what it is, I use a car designer technique. Um, a bunch of years ago, this guy showed me this technique with markers. That I could actually render stuff in markers and uh, work for Hot Wheels, the same kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You try to use as few lines as possible, but just get an idea, a gesture of what something looks like. Now later on, you take this stuff in the meetings and you can say, well, okay, well, let's refine this a little bit more, refine mm -hmm. this a little bit more. Yeah. All right, here's some sketches. You never know what's going to hit with the executive know. types. So this is some sketches of some car shapes that I'm working on that I might render on later on, you know. But it's basically that same technique where you draw with markers, you spend more time erasing off of cool ideas. So with the marker, you can't erase anything. So you just go with it and just see what happens. You want the energy of the drawing. You don't want to freeze it up. Once you get the energy of the sketch done, they decide what they want. Then you take it over here, where we either render it in watercolors, oh, oils. Oh, those are gorgeous. Uh, this is some Superman work we did. I love the uh, fantasy stuff. Um, darkness. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Witch Blade. Yeah. So sometimes we have people come to us and they like a commission. Sure. Yeah, commissions. So these are work left over from that. Uh, again, instead of doing Photoshop oil paintings, we actually just grab some canvases, do it, and it's a lot yeah. faster. Uh, these are digital airbrush stuff. So neat. Uh, so neat. And now here, the neat thing about doing Photoshop work is that we did two versions of this Captain America. One with him like on a base, and then one with him where we added rain to it. So that was mm. fun. Uh, Carnage. Oh, man. Spider-Man. This was actually a big watercolor painting we did. So just to make prints, people can grab them, give them as gifts. Uh, Dark Crystal. 
we were testing out a new technique with ink pens, where we just took a ballpoint pen and sort of just start sketching around and just seeing what kind of ideas we can come up with. And I'm a big fan of the dark crystal. Wow. So uh, all of these things are basically work left over from Project Is this your uh, business card here? Uh, yes, sir. My wife and I. And you guys have a presence on IG and stuff? Uh, no, I need don't to. think so. Nothing like you that. You need to get on Instagram. It's the new hot rocket social media. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Facebook is being phased out. Uh -huh. 30 and unders are on IG. They're not on Facebook. That's what we need. Thirties. Get days. get an IG. Okay. Okay. Thank and you. And get too. and I'll follow you. Well, see, they, uh, you you probably them? already know. IG is where it's yeah. at as far as sharing. Oh, yeah. of course. He would flourish on there. Could you help us set up stuff like that? Absolutely. Dude. They need an IG. Do an IG today. Oh, Do yeah. it from this location. Mm -hmm. You'll have 150 followers by the end of the day. Oh, yeah. oh absolutely. Right. If not 200. Instagram's extremely easy. Do it. Like my, oh, my yeah. cringy, Get on IG. My cringy art, thanks to my IG cringy is art, missing like you. 15,000 followers. IG is missing you. There's nothing like this on IG right now. You would be. I'll talk to my man. Make sure you get it. Get on there. Thank you so much, man. For sure. You'd be able to watch yourself on my channel. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Right. Um, Sandman we'll go PR Blog. All right. Did you get contact information from us? I did. Tag us up, man. I will. I will. Can do that. Thank y'all. My pleasure. Dude. Dude. Yeah, I saw that. That's the, I want to play with it so bad. <laughs> Mr. Sandman PR Blog, I don't feel so good. Hey, Link. Nice outfit. The hero of time. Which link are you? Uh, Twilight. Love that game. I didn't like Skyward Sword. I just. I'm sorry. I didn't like the control scheme. Twilight Princess, on the other hand, is superior on the Wii. A lot of people say the GameCube one's better. I prefer it on the Wii. But I, I have nothing against Skyward Sword. I just wasn't good at it. The motion controls got on your nerves. I was just. I love Skyward Sword. Of course you do. <laughs> He's odd. He's an odd Thomas. He wasn't visually. <laughs> visually, I thought yeah, Skyward Sword. Yeah, visually it was pleasant. But... I'm ready for... I like that I understood every reference in it. <laughs> That's Yesterday right. Yesterday I was Breath of the Wild Link. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Breath well, of the Wild is great, too. Pleasure talking to y'all. Conapalooza, thank you guys so much. Great, great con. Great venue and doing it with our friends. But uh, let me show you the hall. We're gonna alternate some things here. I always like to show uh, businesses that provide stuff. This is from the Secret Castle Toys. He does have a social media presence on Instagram. interesting um, first thing is uh, with our badges it was day three badges it had uh, the greatest showman on here um, very good movie by the way if you if you've been sleeping on the greatest showman it's an awesome movie yes it's a musical but it's co very compelling acting and storytelling good good movie Sam and I highly recommend the greatest showman so they provided it like this, and we needed lanyards. So thankfully, my friend that runs the Uncommon Pixel Collectibles and Art had uh, lanyards. And Sam actually selected the same one I did. She went with this traditional Star Wars yellow font over the black background. Can't go wrong with that. It's classic. And then uh, we also got one for Allie and David. And David went with um, Super Mario. And Allie had Power Rangers. Her family is very, very Ranger-centric. Also, at the registration booth, uh, Sam and I both got con t-shirts. And this is the logo. Very, very uh, refreshing as a big man that they carry the larger 3X, 4X sizes. And they had them in stock. And they were the same price as the other shirts. You didn't have to pay five to ten dollars more because it's a bigger size man's shirt. And this is a Gideon 
Gideon is a well-known, well-made, good cotton count uh, t-shirt company. Every time I have Gideons in the past, they last very long. So I was excited. It's a fairly simple design, but we were happy to get something as a memento for being part of that show. Um, let's start with first figure for you guys. My figure viewers, my figure audience, tag team toy collectors, collectible, uh, collectors coalition, Classic Cannibals, uh, Open Box Mafia, those are the Alliance, some of the uh, toy groups on Facebook that I am affiliated with. Um, this is the Vintage Iron Man, you guys have seen him, he's pretty much a peg warmer. Somebody had him at their booth, he was the only vintage that I saw in their little selection and they had 12 bucks on them and I offered them 10 Sunday is all about haggling I can't stress enough the third day of a con is normally the day that these guys are willing to make deals and you know as long as you're not offering them an insulting amount so he had 12 marked on it I offered him 10 and he accepted it this is a come up for me Iron Man is my favorite Avenger. This will stay mint on card. It will be a wall hanger with a tack, you know, like the Wolvie that I have. So I was excited to grab him for the price I did because he's still ringing up $20 in a lot of retailers. Let's show a Sam item. This is something that she absolutely had to have. This is a Nightmare Before Christmas um, canvas art. It does have officially Silver Buffalo NYC, Disney Nightmare Before Christmas, produced licensed product. This is canvas art, and there's Jack on top of his weird swirly hill in the graveyard. Very iconic scene. One of my wife's favorite properties, probably rivaled only by the Harry Potter series. She does love her some nightmare, so... She picked this up for our place. This is our first piece of artwork we're going to have for our, the new the new home. So I was excited for her to get that. What you think of that, Rocky? Rocky is moving with us, of course. Let me show you. Uh, I picked up uh, four of these Venom key rings. These are um, collector key. Look, it's a key ring. These are some of the people it can be. I bought four of them for 20. I thought that was okay. I guess they're six or seven a piece individually. So four for 20, that's two or three dollars off each one. So it was fair. I got two for, for the Wallace kids and I got one for David and one for me. So we'll see who I got. I, I don't know what Allie and her brother got, but I do know David got the uh, Jack-O-Lantern Venomized jack-o'-lanterns who he got so let's see who I get is there a place to start on these let me go open here Eddie Brock, of all the ones I got, I got traditional Edward Brock. I love it. That's kind of like the Funko we were hunting for. Dave would have really enjoyed this one. <laughs> Very neat. So that's the Funk. That's I don't think that's Funko. This is some other company. Anyway, the next item comes from Samantha's Hall. And that is, this was shown in one of the videos, Dr. Finkelstein. He is uh, the guy that Jack relied on to make the reindeer technology for the Halloween Town version of the sleigh for him to deliver the presents. Very iconic scene. He's also the creator of Sally, Sam's favorite character. Um, this wave is the same wave as Santa Jack and the mayor does come with the very neat uh, wheelchair and uh, I guess you can build a base of some kind looks like a street corner so that's Sam's she picked this up uh, the seller was trying to charge her $40 and she said you know no way 
I'm in and out of comic book stores a lot because of my husband, and I know that's a $25 figure, and they took $25. Super proud of her. Okay, uh, my favorite thing that I picked up at Comic Palooza is something I've been chasing. Uh, the good pit of this year, I've been trying to find one. I saw one at RobCon back in August, or whatever month that was. July, July, and it was $15, it was a really good deal. This is the Diamond Select, Marvel Select, uh, Thor Destroyer with the alternative Odin head. I've been after this thing for a good long while at a good deal because it's not uncommon to see these guys uh, 30, 35-ish by people who overcharge for selects because of the rarity, you know, you gotta be a comic book store to have the ability to sell them. So to pick him up for 20 from that gentleman who had all the Transformers and the Toy Hunt vlog was very, very ecstatic. The package has seen better days, but I'm not hanging this one up. He's being open, posed, and photographed. This is for fig photography. Very, very excited to have the Destroyer. And then lastly, uh, the last cool item that Sam got for her haul and I actually got it for her is Santa Jack um, wanted 25 I offered 20 they accepted it it's not like I lowballed them they happily accepted to make a sale and uh, this is also from the same wave as Dr. Finkelstein so she just needs the mayor to complete that wave uh, right now we're after the Walgreens the Walgreens ones are a little less. If they're not on sale, they're $15. If they are on sale, they're $10 or less. She's after Sally and then the three-pack of the kids. So I think she's satisfied with the amount of Jack merchandise she has. So, And that would probably be it as far as her collectibles. Uh, we have a lot of expenses we're looking at regarding our move. Uh, you know, very adulting uh, utilities and necessities and household and furniture, things of that nature. So definitely going to have to be very, very thrifty. Um, thrift store finds, garage sales, yard, uh, um, uh, flea markets, things of that nature. Because we really have to uh, invest in other things outside of our collectibles. So. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any comments about any of the content from Kanapalooza, put them down below. Ask me a question. I'd love to uh, interact. Uh, I am a tag team toy collector, hunter, toy tuber, so shout out to my fellow bros. Their videos, their channels will be in the description of this video. Check their content out, please. Thanks, guys. Sandman out. Till the next one.